Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. And today we're gonna to be working on the 650i again. So uh, a few new things that I actually wanna show you guys. Let me go ahead and get the steering wheel out and I'll show you guys why I'm gonna be pulling that steering wheel out. I know I saw the airbag, but uh, we got a little uh, thing going on. So let's remove it, then explain to you guys what's going on. But check out all the new parts. So this part right here runs about two to $300 and it's not that badly bent. So I might uh, lean over to John over there and uh, ask him if he can bend it back. But anywho, um, we'll go ahead and figure that out later. Um, let's put that over here. And let's move the rest of this stuff so I can go ahead and lower the car and remove that steering wheel. So what I basically did, I went ahead and removed the airbag and removed the steering wheel because I reached out to a company of mine, a really good friend of mine named from Aza. So I'm gonna try to get a new steering wheel, a custom steering wheel in this car because I love steering wheels. It really changes the whole feel of the car, especially it's a vert. Like I can, you can probably notice that steering wheel from a mile away. So I'm trying to get a steering wheel in this car. So I went ahead and just took a few pictures of the back of it to make sure the serial number and everything checks out. I'm going to send them the pictures and get the exact wheel that I need for this car. I think the next step, honestly, is to get rid of this hood. I honestly, this hood is just absolutely horrific. And once I replace this hood, I can start aligning everything according to the hood. So that moment, well, uh, without further ado, let's get into it. So something I noticed is that uh, my hydraulic is literally leaking. So that sucks. It's really getting in the interior. So um, I'm probably, it, I don't want to ruin my top. So I'm just going to leave it like that and just put a few rags and call it a day for now. But that does suck. Considering that's the only flaw with the lips and we got these up ourselves. I ain't, I can't complain. So hook first, guys. Hook first. So I just pretty much got everything off the hood, other than the screws. But something I did realize that it may be an absolute pain in the butt. That I'm the only one here now. Everyone left. And um, how am I gonna do a hood alone? I guess uh, we'll find out. hood is officially off. I honestly don't know how I'm gonna put that hood on. I absolutely have no idea. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put that hood next to that hood, grab the two screws off of this hood, uh, because I don't know if you guys know, but you always take out the bottom screw. Uh, you're supposed to always take out the bottom screw, but the top screw, you leave it somewhat tightened in, uh, so you can actually, it'll still be on the car, you can just lift it out. They do it in a way to where you guys can see, you can lift it out, and this one's actually in there, so you gotta pull this out, unscrew this a little bit, and pull up. Just a little bit of guidance, because I learned that, and uh, I'm assuming they did it that way so one person can do it. So, I'm assuming so. Let's see if your man's got the strength. Go ahead and try to put that hood on there along. Uh, it's an aluminum hood. That's not the hard part, it's just the size, because the uh, the hood, I can very much lift it up, no issues, but this is a huge hood. I don't know if you guys know how big a six series hood, but it's huge. This engine looks lost in this engine bay, and this is a V8 4.8 liter. So, ah, let's try this. Yo man just got that hood on so come up. So this is the good hood. Um, This is sagging like really bad. I don't know what's going on with that. So I think I'm gonna take off that one, put it on this one because yeah, this is sagging from every direction. It just looks terrible. But other than that, perfectly good OEM hood, which I'm really happy about. I'm gonna go ahead. Also this hood came with the washer sensors. So which means I can actually sell those pieces and still make some money. And the other hood also came with the hood latches, which I can make some money off of. And then also this, which is just a nice way to think about getting an extra 50 bucks back off the hood. I already got it as a great deal but you know, I'm, I'm always looking after them budget deals. So yeah, anywho, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just connect the washer fluids. So I don't know, this hood's a little weird. I guess this thing with, with time, the heat kind of shrinks it. As you can see, it won't even go in the hole. Um, The bottoms won't go in either. It is what it is, not a big deal. What I wanna do right now, which is my biggest issue, is this piece right here. So this piece roughly costs about two to $300. And this piece goes right here. And uh, the bumper and everything attaches to it, even the hood light. This piece is $300, but it's also very important because this helps out your hood aligning. This helps out your bumper aligning. And also, if it's ugly, you'll see it in the engine bay 100%. So I'm gonna go ahead, since it's only slightly bent. I'm gonna go ahead and just try to bend it back and try to finesse it. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, we have to drop two, 300 bucks on this little frame piece because this car is really hard to find parts for. I'm not gonna wait like a month to try to find a good deal on this. Unfortunately, I will have to drop the money. So that's why I'm gonna try my best since it's not too bad. As you guys can see, it's flat on this side and it's lightweight bent on this side. So I'm gonna try to put it on the car and try to bend it back. All 
All right, guys, so I went ahead and put this little piece on there. As you can see, it's actually pretty straight, uh, pretty even, but not perfect. So I think uh, this is definitely playable. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and see if the hood actually latches to this piece right here, if it lines up, because this place is pretty small. So hope to God this hood actually goes in that hole. Oh, I think I have my tool on this side. Hold up. Yeah, I got my tool right here. All right, let's see if this hood actually closes. Anything else in here? No, no. All right, moment of truth, guys. All right, well, hood latch is pretty good. I like the fitment. I think that's really good. That is also really good. So uh, you guys actually see the gap. So the gap right here is a little bit bigger than the side. It's a little bit pushed up right there. You can see it's pretty fluid on this side. So uh, right here is a little bit of an issue. Um, but again, let's go ahead and bolt on the bumper and just try to work on the fitment because this, you won't even see it. As long as we can get the screws to line up and as long as the bumper is close to the hood, we don't have to spend $300. So that's the goal. Also, by the way, guys, I do need turn signals and to replace these turn signals, I have to remove the fenders, unfortunately. So if you guys know anybody who's selling fenders, let me know. Thank God my headlights are okay. These headlights are $500 a piece. This one's also good, thankfully. Literally barely missed both sides of the headlight, but the side markers are crushed and destroyed, so I do need turn signals. Oh, actually, before the bumper, before the bumper, we actually have to remove this fender. Um, This fender is actually in the way because we do need to bolt the bumper onto this, and as you guys can see, uh, this piece is literally detached from the, the bracket. So let's go ahead and remove that fender. I'm really happy with the gap so far. You guys can see right here, pretty flush, pretty flush. Uh, maybe you gotta bring it in a little bit over here, but I'm really happy with how the fitment's going. I'm really happy with the gap. Yeah, it looks absolutely amazing, guys. Super happy with it. And this hood isn't really that scratched up. It just wasn't washed properly. It's actually in really good shape. So check that out, guys. It's already coming together. So let's go ahead and replace that fender, and then we'll start getting to the bumper. Right, so before we put on the bumper, and before we put on the fender, we have to remove this fender. So this is gonna be an absolute pain in the but I can already tell. So you got, you know, the actual turn signal screws right here, even though the turn signal is pr pretty much gone, but we have to remove those two screws. We have a couple T30s, I believe, all around here. We have one facing this way, another one right here, and there's another one down here, and there's two, I believe, underneath this. So I think we might have to pop up the side skirt. I'm gonna try to finesse my way and get that screw out, but hopefully I don't have to move the entire side skirt. And then of course we got the one that's up here, but it's already pretty much broken. So I I'll just remove that too so we can get that bracket out and saw the new bracket. This looks like it's gonna take a lot of time, I'm just gonna set you guys on time lapse. All right, so the rest of the screws are all the way back there. You guys can see I can move the whole fender, but there's two screws back here, and the only way to get to them is literally by opening up the door all the way. So I will have to drop the car and move it forward. So let's go ahead and just do that real quick. All right, so as you guys know, this fender had a crack right here, but I'm pretty sure if I screw it in at the right angle, you won't notice that crack. And same goes for this crack as well. It has a crack here, and obviously this can get repaired and repainted, but I'm just gonna try to go ahead and screw it at a way that it really doesn't show we can just wrap over and call it a day. Because obviously, uh, this fender has a crack right here, and it also has a crack here. It's just very common failure points. I feel like if I get it from anywhere else, at least this one's black. What's also nice is that he threw in this molding. Mine's is broken, so thank God this is on here. And he threw in this molding as well, which is just nice. This is worth a loan, like 40 to 50 bucks. I got the fender for $80, so that's a really good deal. That basically shows I got the fender for about 30 to $40. And as you can see, it has the bracket, which I mainly need. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just throw on this uh, fender. Worst comes to worst, we're gonna have to plastic weld it, put some Bondo, and repair it. Okay guys, this one I'm able to like pretty much bolt down uh, without the crack showing off too much. Uh, but since this one has a gap, you guys can clearly see the crack is exposed way too much on this fender. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take off this fender and just start partially repairing it from the back. And then when we actually start wrapping, I'm gonna put a little bit of Bondo in the front and then wrap over it. So that being said, go ahead and take off this fender again and uh, start repairing it. Guys, plastic weld actually works. Check that out. That's actually kind of crazy. So that one's in pretty good. And then this whole crack used to just separate on its own. As you can see, there's nothing separating that right now. So 
That is really good. That is really good. So I think I'm going to throw on the fender and then uh, any other touch-ups we need to do, we can do on the outside. But as for now, it is ready to get thrown on the car. <laughs> So we pretty much got the fender on there, we got the hood on there today, and we pretty much repaired the fender. This is just a little bit of super glue. The fender is pretty even, not gonna lie, I'm pretty happy about this line, honestly. I'm really happy about that line. This one's a little wavy, unfortunately, so I might have to put a little bit of Bondo to make it a little bit smoother. But honestly, if I leave it, it's not a big deal. I think the reason why this happens, because it's made out of plastic and it's so long, to where if someone just leans against it, it could cause pressure on both sides and crack both sides. So I think that's what's going on here. But anywho, come up with this as well. I'm really happy with this. Fender fit on perfectly. Tabs are all there for the new turn signal. Should I go with the OEM or should I go with the smoked out black ones? They have two smoked out black ones for 130 or they have two OEM ones for $100. So let me know what I should do, guys. Let's just back this car up and get it on the lift. And then we can start removing a few other pieces. I'm just surprised how, how, how much this car is coming along, honestly. All right, let's get it up. Remove this uh, little line here that's been annoying the shit out of me. We've been here for a very long day today, but I don't want to conclude the video. I want to get the 435 in here. I want to fix two things that's been kind of bugging me. So ever since I repaired the carbon fiber side skirt, I haven't polished it out, so I need to fix that. And then also, this clip came off that hood, and I broke this clip on my 435. I'm hoping it's the exact same clip. Just go ahead, throw it on the 435, and hopefully that'll fix that dangling wire I have in the engine bay. All right, perfect guys. That sensor clip is the same one on that 6 Series, so I just went ahead and fixed my sensor clip. I don't know why that irritates me when wires are just dangling off my hood, so now everything in the engine bay is perfecto. Um, only things I do need to fix, I have a slight little oil leak here, so I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade this to a performance one, because I do plan on pushing a lot of power on this car, so expect that in the near future. Probably actually in the next couple of videos, to be honest. This hose clamp is slightly loose. I gotta keep pushing it back in. It'll last me a little bit, but uh, I do need to get that hose as well. But anywho, we're getting, we're, getting, we're getting so much done today. It's like the one of the most satisfying things in the world when you get a lot of stuff done. So after I do the carbon repair, I don't know if you guys can hear my hand, but it's like, it's really rough in this area right here. And uh, I need, I, I'm thinking I need to sand this down. I need to sand all this down. It's also, stuff is sticking onto it. So I wanna go ahead and sand it all down, make it as nice as possible, and then polish it out. And hopefully this should come out really good. So uh, this is the before, you guys actually see it. I need to go ahead and sand all that down so it looks like this evenly. If I go ahead and wipe this, it needs to look like that, but it has this stuff all over it because of the carbon repair. So let me go ahead and start working on that real quick. I've been feeling so small. Watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I'm letting it go. Alrighty, check that out guys. So that's looking a lot better. Look at that. Mm -mm. Very good, very nice. So all this is pretty much sanded down. I just need to clean all this up with some rubbing alcohol. And once I clean all that, I'm gonna go ahead and just put some compound and then go ahead and uh, see if I can polish this thing out. And last but not least, some glaze. Break me, no, no, nothing can break me. Try not to hold. And just like that, guys, I'm super happy I had the chance to get to this. Look at that. Look at, it's buttery smooth. Can't even hear anything. That is awesome. So I'm super happy about how this came out. I can honestly make those sides even better, but it's kind of hard to sand it this low to the ground. It's so probably when I get it onto the lip, I'll do the sides as well if I'm super picky, but at least from the top end, you cannot tell, it looks absolutely perfect. I think that's a job well done. Let me just wipe all the rest of the compound off my car so it doesn't stay. I hate compound. If you guys leave compound overnight, it is a pain to clean off. Anywho guys, I'm gonna get my 435 out. I am absolutely starving. I think it's been about eight hours since I've eaten something. I know it doesn't look like it's seven, but it's seven p.m. I've gone here since I believe 11. So it's been about eight hours, nothing. 
I'm super hungry. So I'm gonna go ahead and conclude this video and get back to the shop here tomorrow. I'm gonna try to pop out a couple videos in a row for you guys. You guys absolutely destroyed that video. This thing is gonna go fully straight pipe. If you guys wanna see this car get the whole front end back together by the next video, actually, I'll drop that video tomorrow. I'll drop the video tomorrow. If you guys can get this video to 2,500 likes, I will drop the video tomorrow on fully assembling this front end, you know, bondoing up this bumper, repairing it, and throwing it on the car. So if you guys wanna see that, make sure to smash that like button, 2,500 likes, and we'll do that. Without further ado, guys, thank y'all so much for the recent support. I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.